Trump is the first candidate for president in history who has been impeached twice, eroding his support among all five of the country's remaining moderate Republicans. One of those impeachment hearings was led by our next guest, Democratic Congressman from California, Adam Schiff. Thank you for joining us, Congressman. Great to be with you. Absolutely. Congressman, do you think President Biden has a stronger message than President Trump's message of, I sent Tina Brown flowers when she launched Talk Magazine, but I never got a thank you note? <laughs> I thought uh, President Biden did a great job tonight uh, talking about making the economy work for all Americans, the progress that uh, we've made under his administration, uh, and the work uh, that's still ahead. So I thought he knocked it out of the park tonight. Sure, President Biden has a durable coalition, but Trump does have bipartisan cooperation between Republicans and white nationalists. Well, well, Biden has nothing on Trump. During his State of the Union, he did not once auction Iowa to the highest bidding dictator. It is true. Now, Congressman, during his speech, President Biden challenged Republicans to support ultra left wing socialist priorities like fighting cancer and opioids with this call to unity. And to my Republican friends, if we could work together the last Congress, there's no reason we can't work together and find consensus on important things in this Congress as well. Now, Congressman, can you work with the Republicans who shouted over the president when they weren't busy texting Oath Keepers photos of your license plate? <laughs> I think uh, President Biden has signaled his willingness, and I share that willingness uh, to work together to get things done for the American people. Uh, we passed a bipartisan infrastructure bill. We passed legislation to help us uh, bring manufacturing back home. Uh, we even passed some uh, gun safety legislation, not nearly enough, but we made some progress. There's a lot more that we can do in this session of Congress to move the country forward. Uh, I'm willing to do whatever is necessary to make that happen. And I think the president uh, signaled that, his, uh, that he is open to that kind of bipartisan cooperation as well. Look, Biden is partisan. Sure, he delivered Strom Thurmond's eulogy, but he refused to get in the coffin with him. Moving on. Congressman, you are running to be the next United States Senator from California, even though the seat is currently held by Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein, who has yet to announce her plans, even though she is, according to our fact checkers, one million years old. Now, since you are appearing here in your capacity as a member of Congress, you cannot comment on your Senate campaign or Dianne Feinstein's decision on whether or not to retire. Is that correct? Uh, that's correct. This is an official interview, uh, so I'm going to keep my remarks focused on the policy of the United States. Okay, and we respect that. So let's not talk about Dianne Feinstein's retirement decision. Let's move on to a completely unrelated topic. Beautiful Boca Raton, Florida. Whether it's tennis, golf, or taking in the ocean breeze, Boca, as the locals call it, is the perfect spot to enjoy your golden years. Explore the world-class Boca Raton Museum of Art. Or open-air concerts at the Meisner Park Amphitheater with a July 26th performance from the Goo Goo Dolls. Plus it has some of the best dining in South Florida. But don't take it from us. Congressman Schiff, tell us some things you would do if you retired to Boca Raton, Florida. Well, I would, uh, I would enjoy the great weather and I would uh, enjoy uh, all the wonderful people and the fact that every week in Boca is basically like a Seinfeld episode. How so? I'm too young for that reference, but <laughs> it sounds like a wonderful place for a random so? woman to retire without some know-it-all intern leaking their every mental hiccup to Politico. Boca Raton, never have to make conversation with Chuck Grassley again.